Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying a Mr Wiggly, it's a damsel fly Mr Wiggly, it's a great pattern for smallmouth in the summer um, especially when like the fishing pressure has switched them off the poppers and the kind of more intrusive topwater flies these kind of things can be great as always I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel get access to the monthly fly tying classes, the members only content and be entered into the giveaways alternatively you can subscribe like the video, share the video, watch all the way to the end all of that helps the channel Right, so I've got my hook and my vice. This is a Varivas 2500V SE straight eye version. Um, size 4. It's a 2x long streamer hook I'm using. So it's fairly stout, which helps the flight to land the correct way. Um, and I'm using a 2x long rather than like a 3 or a 4x long, as some people do, because I've got more gape. You know, I can use it rather than using like a size 6 or 8. 4x or 3x I've got the gape of the 4 um, which gives you better hookups which is the whole point right so I've run on some olive uni the thread colour doesn't really matter um, and it's 6 what I'm using and I've got some foam here this is for the craft shop it's about a mil and a half well and a half to two mils, what you want really. And this has got glitter on it, blue glitter. It's it's nice and sparkly for when the we've got quite a shiny blue damsel fly here. Um there's also a black one that's very shiny as well. So this is ideal. So I've got my strip here, it's about the width of the hook gate, and I've already cut a point at the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offer this in and take a kind of loose wrap and then tighten up. Get gradually tighter. You don't want to. I've just. I've, um, I don't quite like the shape of my point, so I'm just going to sort of lengthen the tip of that triangle a wee bit. I mean, I'm just being fussy, but. It's how I like it. That's better. Now this will, you'll f notice this will be trying to move on you at this stage, right? Don't worry about that. Just lift it up, take a few wraps of thread, right? And I've already put super glue in the shank to make the base of thread stick. Come along, take another couple of wraps, and it will start to stabilise. Now I like a wee hot, hot tail in these. So I've got a. Fluorescent orange grizzly flutter leg. This is just half of one leg and a little half a strand. I'm just going to fold it over the thread, take a wrap, make sure I don't creep with the wraps, and secure that in place. Another couple. Now at this point, I'm going to set my length. So, I'll sort of judge, you can even use it, if you're not sure, you know, if you want to keep them all consistent, get your original fly, measure against it, you can put a wee crease, and then you know how long it is, right, I mean this bit of foam is nearly perfect, which is good, and then, in the exact same, don't let your tie-in point creep, just same spot. And again, it's still, you might notice it'll try to roll or whatever, don't worry. Lift up. Then I'm going to get some dubbing, and I'm using some Spectra Flash dubbing. This is a Sibai. It's like ice dub, but it's softer and finer. Um, so I'm just going to come in. And wrap right back. I'm going to take a turn of dubbing over there. 
in my tie-in point to hide hide that tie-in and then <clears throat> you need to set a judge, I want four segments so I'm thinking I need like quarters right one, two, three, four. And the fourth one's tied right to the eye. If you want to do three, do three. That's fine. It's up to yourself. So we'll get this first one in. We'll get now, I'm turning the foam slightly towards myself. I'm taking a loose wrap of the thread. I'm going to pull down. Another loose wrap. Pull down. And then I can put a couple of locking wraps in under normal tying pressure now again just to help this right you don't want your fly turning on you I'll come in a couple of wraps of thread with a wee bit of super glue on it get some more of the dubbing Wrap, wrap over that, bulk it up a wee bit. And you'll notice things will start to firm up. And just the same, to twist the dubbing towards yourself so that it cups with the thread torque. Get that in, nice and tight, have a wee look. Now, I like to put my legs, it's up to you, I put my legs on the second and then the third, uh, the second and then the third segment, there and there, but you can do it in the third and the fourth, or you can do it in the second and the fourth, whatever you prefer, it's whatever you like the look of. Again, I'm using the Grizzly Flutter legs because they're a bit finer than the ordinary silly leg. And this is just a translucent grizzle, it's got a wee blue fleck in it. Single leg. Cut it in half. Put it on top. Two wraps of thread. And just stretch and pull. And then you're fine, right? You get it sitting right in the side, the way you like it. And then... Same as before. Put a wee bit of glue in my thread. Lift up. Glue that in. Stretch your dub and tighten up the noodle. Right hard in against the foam. Get your wrap in. Need a wee bit more. Put another one in that middle wrap there. And come right in against the foam. Run your thread through the dubbing to tighten it if you want, and then it's just repeating. It's just a fairly simple fly to tie. It's just a bit repetitive. That'll do. Get that in. Get that nice and tight. Another leg. Right. And a half a, a half a strand is plenty. Right? You don't need to tie in like two full legs at each at each stage here. Right? A half a strand per side is more than enough. You've got to cut it anyway. Even shorter than this slightly. Couple of wraps, 
lock it on place. Down in front with the glue. Take away any excess. Get right back in there. Get your dubbing. started, tighten it up, come in through the gap again, couple of wraps, get your dubbing hard up against the thing, now don't rush your eye, leave a wee bit of space, so you can tie this full wolf and get a wrap of dubbing over it. And then just come in, get that tied in. And you need very little dubbing here, just enough just to cover the thread. I mean, you don't even really need to do it if you don't want to. And then come in and whip finish. Come in, cut your thread. And if there's a couple of wee, I mean there's a long fibre there, but I wouldn't really worry about it. I don't mind them being kind of scruffy. We'll just lift all the legs up. And cut them to length. I want them about a shank length, more or less. So that they don't... They'll not, at that length they're not really going to foul that much, the foam should hold them mostly clear out of the way. They're on the side, your fly's pretty, pretty sturdy. I like to come in at this bit, and I, because I've got a point in the bottom, I like to cut a V in the top, a bit like an Amy's ant. Just watch the wee rubber legs. That's just personal preference. I'll just trim them slightly shorter. And then it's a bit of varnish at the eye, and your fly's done. So there you go. This is it Mr. Wiggly? It's a, as I say, a blue damsel version. Obviously, tie them whatever colour you like. Yellow's good, chartreuse, black. But it's a tasty little fly, and the smallies love them. So, hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Remember to give me a like below and I'll see you for another video. Take lines guys, bye!